What struck out to me was uh, sort of how okay Case is with with his legacy. Yet, you know, he built AOL into this um, this company that introduced much of America to the internet. Then there was that disastrous merger. Yeah. And you know that that merger broke a lot of, of 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 big people. I mean, Jerry Levin, Case's counterpart at Time Warner. You know, he moved away and founded a, a new age healing center in Santa right. Monica. Now he's living in Maine. Case is, is never wants of, to go back to corporate life. <laughs> no, and Case is the opposite. He's sort of quietly built this comeback. He's been getting into venture capital. He is sort of a spokesman for entrepreneurs. I mean, he's very okay with his um, with, with with his role in, in all of that. And um, he's sort of created this new role. Well, you know, when you say broke a lot of people, Ted Turner was quoted in the New York Times at one point saying this is one of the worst disasters for this country like the Iraq war yeah, was. Yeah, compared I mean, to Vietnam. You know, uh, it, was yeah, uh, it was bad. I mean, it, but uh, I don't know about that. But yeah, but, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was very, very vocal about that. Now, had, did Steve Case talk about that? Did he say, you know, were there yeah. any regrets about that? Well, he says that he accepts some responsibility for it because he put it in motion and was the, the chairman of the board, but he insists that it was a sort of a good idea in theory, a bad idea uh, as it was executed. And, you know, sort of the, the big takeaway is that his sort of, um, uh, his kind of, I mean, blitheness is sort of too strong of a word, but his um, impenitence on it, mm. it might be irritating to a lot of people, especially Time Warner shareholders who had their in investments wiped yeah. out. Um, but. The fact of the matter is, it's it's useful. He's invest Steve Case is investing in new companies. He's trying to create jobs, and he's weirdly enough become this really effective figure in Washington. Well, I was going to say he's been on the show quite a few times talking about jobs growth, and yeah. he's actually been quite successful in trying to push jobs legislation through, through Washington. Yeah. Why do they pay attention to him? Well, it's interesting. You know, AOL was based in the D.C. area almost almost by accident. So Case has been living there for 30 years. He's not out in in, in Silicon Valley, and a lot of Silicon Valley holds D.C frankly, in contempt. They see it as, as just a, this constipated place where nothing ever gets ha where nothing ever happens. Bureaucracy, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, they picture themselves as, as very agile and nimble. Um, Case, is, he knows how DC works. And you know, after coming out of the recession, people wanted to reach back to the 90s you know, when the economy was roaring, there were lots of jobs. That's AOL's heyday. And so when they were looking around for somebody to sort of put into that role of icon mm -hmm. for, for jobs and growth, Case was there. He was in town. It takes him two minutes to get to, get to meetings. Right. And he, he took that casting. And he's not like a, he's not very showy. He goes to a lot of boring meetings to really get stuff done. I, w I, was, I spent a lot of time with him. I was really impressed with just how many meetings he took with not necessarily headline names.